Surf Hunter here. Today I'm going to be removing the serpentine belt and reinstalling it. Not because I have to, but I'm doing this for you so that I can finish my video when I replace the idler pulleys and the tensioner pulley. I replaced three pulleys on it and at the time I didn't get a good shot of uh, replacing the serpentine belt and my serpentine belt was completely shredded on that one so I was unable to do a video about removing the belt because it was already removed. Actually I'm going to be using a half inch drive breaker bar and this should be all you need to replace the belt. You really want to make sure that you've got the uh, belt routing diagram on the vehicle and if you don't then you might want to draw yourself a little picture and uh, show yourself exactly how to put it on before you take the belt off. One thing I noticed was that this hose here is going to get in my way. So just I'm doing that hose just to be able to push it out of my way when I need to. And you'll see in just a sec. So right down here is the tensioner. And you can see I've got my breaker bar in that square hole in the tensioner. You'll see it in the front of it. So what you need to do is pull towards the passenger side to get the tension off of your belt. And then you should be able to pull it off of everything. Um, I usually start right here with the AC, pull it down, and then you can let go of your tensioner, take your bar off, and then you can continue taking everything off here. So then on this side I took it off the power steering pump, and then when you get on this side over here, you'll have to get it off the tensioner pulley right here and then you can take it off the crank down at the bottom and once the belt is off the crank pulley you should be able to pull it right up through here in between the water pump and that tensioner when you're reinstalling the belt uh, the best way that I find is uh, put it on the crankshaft first Okay, so now that I've got the belt wrapped around the idler tensioner there, and I've got the one flat side up against the water pump here, and this piece here is coming up in between the two tensioners, and then it has to go up over top of the alternator. back down underneath that tensioner right there then I usually wrap it around the power steering pump right there so the belt it looks something like that it's on top of the alternator and it's coming up both sides are coming up over top of the water pump down there and so the last thing that you need to do is get this part on top of the AC pump and then you're done. Well, sort of. So once again, put the breaker bar, or I call it a Johnson bar. I've been corrected. So anyway, put the breaker bar back into the square hole in the tensioner, and pull towards the passenger side. Make sure that the belt stays on everything where it's supposed to and bring that end up okay so the last thing you want to do is make sure that everything is in place where it's supposed to be and especially make sure that all of these groove pulleys uh, have the belt in the teeth make sure that the belt hasn't jumped over a tooth or a spline or whatever you want to call it and make sure that it's in place on the crank because that's usually the first place that it's gonna 
come off because it's hanging from the bottom. And sometimes you gotta get it underneath to have a look, but I can see it from here. And it's all in. Make sure that uh, it's sitting nicely on your idler pulleys in the middle, and same with the water pump. It's off a little bit here, but just make sure that it's all sitting in place decently. And of course, clip that hose back into place there again. And of course, you're going to want to fire it up. Make sure everything stays on there. Make sure the belt don't go flying off. camera tipped over when I started it up. Everything's looking good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and make sure you hit like if you like.